What is good, everybody? Today we are back with WWE Action Figure Surgery, man. Going to be an insane episode. Can't wait to dive into it with you, man. I'm, I'm very happy to be back. Very happy to be back. Been working on a lot of customs. A lot of stuff we're going to do here today in this episode. And also, if you guys have never been here for Action Figure Surgery, man, basically we customize WWE or wrestling action figures, man. We upgrade our collections. That's what we do here on Action Figure Surgery. And it seems like it's going to be a really epic day. And also, a lot of the stuff that's here, I don't know about everything. Not everything we do today is going to be for sale and whatnot, but some of the things we make here today will be available on my next whatnot stream, and you can go to the link in the description below to download whatnot. You'll get $10 off your first purchase if you're a new sign-up, and you can bookmark my next show. Be sure to bookmark my next show. It's going to be after WrestleMania, and we have a video that's going to go along with that show that's going to be insane, so stay tuned for that. We're also going to be giving away a Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition figure, so lots of stuff planned for that stream, man. I cannot wait for it, but nonetheless, man, today we are diving into a lot of surgery and we always start off our surgery with what we're going to do on the surgery episode. So let's shut the hell up and dive into what we're going to do today, and then we'll get into the surgery itself with Dr. Whitekus. And we always start off with the guy on the stretcher. Now, the, the thing on the stretcher is not too much, man. Basically, we're going to be upgrade. This is the Ruthless Aggression Elite Undertaker figure, and essentially what we're going to do with this figure is we're going to add some gauntlets, and then I'm going to put a vest on him. And I know that's not the most exciting thing, but just stay tuned, man. Just stay tuned. It's going to be nice, all right? Sometimes the simple stuff is the way to go, which I guess can lead me into my next Undertaker right here. And the same thing, we're going to be switching the head sculpt on this guy and adding a vest as well. And on this vest, I'm going to have to... I don't really like this. Like, I think this is going to look good on here, but it's, like, very, like... This is a Jax vest, so it's very grimy. Could you focus? Damn. It's very grimy and old, and I don't know if... I don't know how the acetone's gonna react to this. It might melt it right in front of our faces. So I don't know. I don't, I don't really know, man. We may have to change something up, or I might have to get a different shirt. And if that vest doesn't work, it'll be alright. At least I'll have the head swap, and we can adjust that. But yeah, we're gonna be head swapping this guy with a different Undertaker, and also, I really... I'd like a bandana for this guy as well, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, man. So we do have those two Undertaker fix-ups over there. I'm also going to be turning this Elite 93 Rollins into a Monday Night Rollins. So we're going to be putting a shirt on here, putting this Elite 64 head sculpt on here. God in heaven. We're going to be, you know, we're going to be, we're going to put a t-shirt on here. We're going to put this smiling head sculpt over here. We're going to acetone the designs off. We're going to put some different knee pads on here. So what we'll have when it's all said and done is a Monday Night Rollins with upgraded formulas. It's essentially what we'll have there. That's, that's pretty much what we'll have for the Seth Rollins figure. So that should be a fun one. I think that's going to be turn out pretty damn good. So I'm looking forward to the Seth Rollins fix up right there. The Scott Hall, man. We're going to be fixing up this figure by dry brushing his vest. Yeah, we're going to dry brush the vest here today, man. It's going to be nice. Can't wait to do so. I'm going to be using this color here. It's called Blissful Blue from Ceramco. And it's a very light blue, essentially, which is pretty much what this is. And I'm going to show you guys how you can dry brush this and kind of showcase that. So that's what we're going to be doing here today is fixing up this Monday Night War Scott Hall and dry brushing that on there. He's got a little schmutz on the back there. Got to get rid of that schmutz. But that should be easy. I'm not really, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. I think that's going to turn out all right right there with our Monday Night War Scott Hall figure. Next up, I'm going to be making a promo attire or a, a, a non-wrestling gear Logan Paul using all these different pieces over here, man. And I'll, I'll unpack that as we get into it, but essentially we're going to use a shish ton of parts and it's going to come together nicely. Just, just bear with me. It's going to be sick as hell. The Logan Paul we make is going to be unreal, and it will be available during that whatnot stream that we do on April the 13th. So go bookmark that show, man. It's going to be a great figure. I can't wait to build that with you. Oh yeah, I gotta get rid of these gauntlets and shish. There's so much shish over here, man. Can we get rid of it? Damn, I'm sick of this chair, too. I'm very annoyed right now. I, I hope that everything goes well today. I also have my Seth Rollins here. Now, I'm going to take off the knee brace here, and I'm going to switch out the black shoes for the white shoes because he wears white shoes with his suit. So the pink suit Rollins here with the smiling head sculpt is going to have white shoes on. Just gonna, just a simple boot or foot swap here. You're going to fix this guy up pretty nicely. I'm looking forward to that fix up a lot. It's going to be very simple, yet it's going to be very epic. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that a lot. Seth Rollins should turn out fantastic. And then the last fix up that we have today is 
is going to be Cody Rhodes in this Elite 101 figure. I guess since I have the acetone out, I might as well take the tattoo off his damn chinny chin chin right there. So we'll probably do that. And then I'm going to put these black boots from the Santos Escobar onto here and kind of look like his Ring of Honor gear from a few years back. And then I'm going to take the boots from this Grand Metalik right here and I'm going to put them on Santos Escobar. So I'm going to leave the little tassels on here. So I'm going to pop the black boots off, acetone the designs off, then pop these gold boots into the Santos Escobar and then Grand Metalik leaks just going to be running around bootless and you know just tightsless and just all those different things so yeah that's what we got today man should be a fun day i think it's going to turn out pretty great hopefully everything goes smoothly but we won't know until we try it man so let's shut the hell up and get into it all right man so i guess our first order of our business is we definitely have to heat up our seth rollins figure right here for sure you know we got to get this head sculpt off put it onto our elite 93 fix up that shouldn't be an issue and then i do have to heat up this undertaker head sculpt because we are switching the other one, but the other one requires no heat. I'm trying to think if we have to switch. Oh, yeah, the boots. Okay, so we do need to heat up the Seth Rollins feet of the suited figure. I'm going to remove the championship here because we definitely don't want to heat up the championship. But also, we're going to have championship belts on that whatnot stream, man. So you may want to, you know, look into that. But we're going to remove this brace right here. And I guess we can just go ahead and pull this tab off. Damn it. All right, there we go. All right, get rid of the knee brace. I'll save that for another day. But we might as well heat the feet up of this Rollins. So we'll heat this up together with this like that and then we'll heat that taker head sculpt up and then we'll have to heat up the white feet as well like so and then obviously the cody Rhodes, i could pop the head sculpts off but their boots will not come off without heat i think this would realistically besides the cell okay we do need to pop these seth rollins kick pads off as well the elite 93 kick pads right here also need to come off because i think acetoning these and removing these knee pads would be a lot easier if these were off so i think that's what we're going to do as well so we'll just slide that right there there. Hopefully that's enough. I don't think I can get the Cody Rhodes and all that stuff knee pads right here heated up correctly, unfortunately. So we're just going to, we're going to go ahead and hit this and then we will get all our stuff situated. White trusty hair dryer for the win. And then here we go. All right, Bradley, let's see what we got cooking right here. Um, I think this head sculpt's really the most important thing. And if I snap the neck, I'll be upset, but it wouldn't... It wouldn't have been the biggest deal. I'm gonna be real. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have lost any sleep. I don't think because I just have so many of that figure. Uh, it would have made me a little upset. Not gonna lie, but it's not as bad here. This onto here like that. That's beautiful. Uh, let's see if we can pop these kick pads off. My fingers are very sore because I've been. Uh, doing some surgery that's not on camera because I wasn't going to complete the projects. And I don't typically like to put projects on surgery if I can't complete them. If you guys were unaware of that, that's absolutely a real thing. But we're going to remove these knee pads real quick. But yeah, I don't like... I've been doing some surgery off camera. My fingers are just incredibly sore. And patron members actually have already seen some customs that are coming. Uh, like some teasers for some customs that are coming. And uh, I'm hyped for them, man. They're going to be amazing. And they're going to be available again on that whatnot stream that we're doing for, you know, Whatnot Con here in a couple weeks. So definitely go to the link in the description, man. Go save that show. It's going to be a fun one, man. Also, I thought about doing a show tonight, like all fodder base, just all, just doing all custom parts and stuff. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. I'm, I, I am not 100% on that, but you need to download Whatnot regardless. So I'd appreciate that. But here is the figure right there. I also need to pop, here's our ringside exclusive taker. This head sculpt just pops off. You don't have to worry about any of that. But I did want this shorter, you know, American Badass style Undertaker head sculpt. I wish I had that battle pack with Jeff Hardy, to be honest with you, like that head sculpt, but this is going to work for now. I think that looks pretty good, and then uh, we are going to put the vest on there in a moment. I guess I'll wait till we acetone it, though, but we also got to switch these shoes here on this Rollins, and this shouldn't be that. I really, I don't know why this took so long to do, to switch these white shoes on here, but I, uh, we're doing it now. So, you know, sometimes, you know what, better late than never, I guess, but I think this is going to look pretty damn clean, so I'm, I'm 
excited to do this right there. And then we got to get the other shoe on there. Sometimes this can be difficult, man. Not going to lie to you. But I think we got both of those. All right, we'll look at Seth freaking Rollins at the end there. Speaking of Seth freaking Rollins, is WWE not cooking right now, man? Their television has been elite in this WrestleMania build, man. I'm going to WrestleMania, and I don't even have tickets yet, but I've already got everything else booked, man. Somebody donate me some WrestleMania tickets. Let's move on to our next thing. I'm going to leave this Rollins how he is right here because we're going to acetone all this stuff correct. And then before I plop that together, I'll also add the knee pads that we want on that Seth Rollins. So we're going to make that Monday Night Rollins, and then we'll add the shirt at the end as well. This guy can go uh, kick bricks, I guess. He's chilling. He's done. All right, let's move on to our next bit of surgery business which is going to be switching all these boots here. So, you know, at some point we're going to time lapse and I'll be acetoning a bunch of stuff. I'll be dry brushing the Scott Hall figure. And so at this juncture, we do need to heat up the boots. So we're going to heat up the Santos Escobar boots, the Cody Rhodes boots. So you see these tassels, they actually slide up. So I'm going to slide those up like this, heat this up, pop them off, put them on the Cody, pop the Cody boots off, save them for a rainy day, and then put the Grand Metal League boots on here and then slide those tassels back down that's our that's our plan right there so there's that but let's get this in position here you guys can see these are the same boot mold that's the reason i'm doing that so we'll have that black boot cody we'll have uh some gold boots on the santos and i think it's gonna look all right because you know we are getting that lwo five pack santos relatively soon and that'll really take over as the main santos and i'm pretty sure you can get that figure for a decent cheap price you know so i'm not that upset about losing the boots that come on that figure and uh breaking that figure up does doesn't, you know, make me sad or anything like that. But nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and heat these boots up. We're going to do some swaps here. Then we're going to acetone the stuff. And then we got to fix our taker as well. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing well right now, man. We're doing good. And then we'll get into our Logan Paul promo gear, which I don't really care for Logan Paul, but it's going to be a sick figure. Alright man, there we go. Again, should be relatively easy. I'm not that worried about it here. Grrr, oh my Jesus in heaven, why did those boots just fall off like that? That was ridiculous. Alright, Grand Mental Leak. He can go play in traffic. And then we also have the Santos boots. God, why is that so hot? That is just, or maybe my fingers are just sensitive because I've been doing a lot of surgery. And so, you know, I'm like in overtime right now. I'm in like in double overtime right now. And so maybe that's why my fingers are so sensitive. Maybe it's not that hot. Maybe I'm just a puss. Good lord, man. All right, we're going to pop the black boots over here on this Elite 101 Cody. We'll acetone that in just a few moments. And then this is the Grand Mental Leak boot. See how that, like, goes right on? Like, what is up with that? It's like the, the peg hole is way too big or something. But there's that, and then we'll slide that down. See, this doesn't look bad at all, man. That actually, that turned out quite nice. I kind of like that fix-up right there. I do want the boot lip, though. But we can look at Santos at the end because he is complete even though that's not the main part of the fi the fix up but I think it works which I'll show. Man looks like he's walking around with damn lamps on his feet alright so we have our acetone projects. Cody can go chill with Seth Rollins over there. We gotta do his chin we gotta do the boots and then we gotta do our Rollins and we gotta paint our Scott Hall so we have all of those projects still remaining but that'll be on a time lapse. I'm not gonna sit here and I'll just shut the hell up now alright before we do our Logan Paul I do want to go ahead and pop these hands off and then pop these wrist gauntlets on here which they are Brock Lesnar wrist gauntlets but I guess I can also acetone these when we acetone everything else so that won't be an issue there but I got this fix up idea from Solomon Wrestling on Instagram very creative individual man and I saw him post a very similar fix up to this and it inspired me to do this one so he shout out to him he's he's got some good stuff brewing over there but yeah you'll see what this vest looks like on this figure in a moment our right, man our next order of business is going to be this Logan Paul that I'm actually quite excited to get into because I think it's going to be nice because it doesn't really require anything. You don't really need, you just need the parts. You don't have to heat up anything, so it's really nice, but here's what we're going to need. We're going to need Logan Paul, Kenny Omega, the Supreme Legs, this Carmelo Hayes jacket, this black t-shirt, and the necklace. And all this, half of this came with the Supreme Kenny Omega and then the other is just an Unmatched Series 1 Kenny, and then we have the Logan Paul Battle Pack figure. 
And it could be any other figure, but I got this specifically to do this fix-up is why I bought this Logan Paul Battle Pack because the head sculpt does have a straight face and it has the black bandana or the black headband, which I think is what I really wanted. So here's what you do, man. You're going to take this Kenny Omega here. You're going to plop that off there. You're going to pop this torso onto the jeans. You're going to pop the head sculpt of the Kenny Omega off there. Take the Battle Pack head sculpt of Logan there. Pop this on right here. May need to add some sticky tag there, but it's not too, too bad. So you have Logan Paul and jeans right here. Then we're going to put this V-neck black... Oh, my, my bad, my bad. You got to put the damn necklace on here first. There is the necklace. Then you put the Logan Paul head sculpt on there. It's popping off all over the place. I don't like that it keeps raising like that. Why does it keep doing that? I don't like that. I want that to settle. Can I flip it? If I flip it, will it do anything? No, it will not. God in heaven. You know what? The necklace keeps popping up, which is bothering me, but we have so many necklaces. Maybe I can, like, adjust it and do a different one, but, you know, it doesn't matter what the necklace is. I just thought that that one probably would look the best, but you could always switch the necklace with a gold chain from Austin or something like that, but look, we're gonna put this V-neck shirt on here, and I think you can kind of see what we're cooking with here now. There's probably other shirts you could do as well, but look at that. That already looks like a good promo gear or nice Logan Paul here, but then once we put this cloth jacket on here, then it turns into an ordinary crabby oh my goodness so yeah we'll take a closer look at that logan paul at the end i'll play around with some chain options but you get the you get the idea man you get the idea and i might change the shirt as well i don't know we'll, we'll play around with that as well maybe there's some different options that we can play around with there but you get the point you get what we were going for you can kind of understand what the you know what the idea was behind it which was the whole point so all right we have our logan paul now really all we have to do is acetone and paint up our scott hall so with that being said man key the time lapse and we're going to acetone some stuff and paint some stuff. So we started things off with the Cody Rhodes head sculpt. Man, I still don't understand why the hell Mattel puts the tattoo so close to his ear. You know, it cuts off, first of all, and then it, it's not that close to the ear. It's just not, but... We took the Santos Escobar boots here, and we're just acetoning it off. What I like to do is pour it into the cap of a bottle, or usually just the cap of the acetone bottle. I got a new bottle of this, and it's a little bit different, but you just pour that into a little cap there. I don't like to use the rag method. I, I find that this is more precise, and you can actually control it a lot better, is to dip some Q-tips in there and just kind of you know lather it on there and wipe it off little by little. It may take you 20 Q-tips or so to get the entire design off, depending on how how big the design is and whatnot however i find that to be the most useful i'll use the rag when i'm doing clear nail polish on crotches and stuff like such as the top pick seth rollins or the elite 93 rollins or something like that and you never want to use 100 percent acetone on a torso on the crotch pieces or torsos of mattel wwe figures man you always want to use clear nail polish on torsos to remove tattoos or chest hair or things of that nature and if you're removing designs off of crotches only use clear nail polish never use 100 percent acetone only use acetone on kick pads such as this you know legs arms things like that never ever use it on the torso or the crotch it will eat the plastic but the dry brushing right here actually turned out really well. I was actually pretty impressed with the way that this turned out. And it was very simple and easy. I think that anybody could do this, man. The dry brushing method is very good. What I do here is I pour some, or I get some paint in the cap, and then I dip my brush into the cap, and then I wipe the brush onto the cardboard, a piece of cardboard, until there's pretty much like nothing left on the brush. And then you gently wipe it onto the you know item that you're trying to dry brush and it works out really well man it creates a fantastic realistic effect but yeah we finished up all of our projects here for action figure surgery all right man, so here's everything we did here today man i'm really excited for the way a lot of this came out especially the scott hall man you know i've dry brushed some stuff in the past and, you know, I've brought some things to life, but I think this does wonders for this figure. Even if the denim is not completely accurate, I do think that, honestly, if you came in with some dark blue or, like, a couple different hues of blue, if you did, like, a navy and maybe a medium dark blue and you did the pants and the denim vest, it would really bring it out more. But this right here turned out pretty damn good. It's amazing what dry brushing can do. It's kind of, it's just wicked the way that works out with the brush and how that technique works. It's kind of crazy, to be honest with you. Nonetheless, here's Santos Escobar, man. There's the gold boots with the black tassels. I think this looks good. He's got the lamp shades in there. Looking good. I, I like this. You know, it's... 
I don't really care that much if it's not accurate because it's just a placeholder until we get the new one. And so that figure looks really good. And on the flip side of that, we do have our black boot Cody right here, man. And this looks very sick. I like it. It's very similar to like his Ring of Honor look or what have you with the black boots. I know that the gear is not the most accurate. It's supposed to have like American flags and stuff. And you could probably make it look better if you painted like some of this stuff black or added some silver in there or something. But I still like the black boots. I think the black boots are just sweet. And I have so many of this figure, so I didn't mind fixing it up. You know, I have the gold boot fix up. I have the black boot fix up now. And so that's fun for me. I like fixing up figures and just giving yourselves a different look there. And then acetoning the tattoo off the neck, or off the face, I should say, is, is a good upgrade as well. So I like the Cody Rhodes figure a lot. We also have our two Seth Rollins. Our first up is our Monday Night Rollins updated formula here. Again, I do believe this is going to be available on that Whatnot stream. So definitely tune in if you guys are interested in that. And it's also going to come with this shirt right here. So there's that. But yeah, the updated formula is just so good, man. He used to be so scared. Like, we didn't even have a problem with it until they updated it. And now we're like, don't you ever go back to the old formula again, Brad. And that looks damn good. I like the Monday Night Rollins fix up right there. We also have our other world champion, Seth Drippin' Rollins here in the pink here which of course it is the doc Hendricks build a figure but switching the shoes with the white shoes is pretty clean man i don't know how i didn't think of that until just now but getting that new shoe in there is just clean as hell i'm very happy to have the new shoes in here with the white it just it did and it also accents perfectly with the shirt not that it was bothering me with the black but i think the white adds to it and makes it more clean so i'm all for that i you know that gets you out of the bed in the morning so there's our seth rollins we also have our two takers here now i i love the way these came out and i i think they they turned out good you know the the jacket or the shirt here on this one didn't get too saggy or anything like that but i think that if i added a bandana over here it would really add to it and also this one just looks clean as hell i i don't know like it looked very plain without anything on it and so adding that just looks so good to me i think that just looks so damn good i think we really need an ultimate edition american badass undertaker we need more american badass undertakers especially from that era however you know i still like these but i think this is a good upgrade to these and it kind of hides that smaller torso on this figure here. This figure has a better torso on it. It's that cane style torso and it looks really good. And then this one's a little bit too skinny, I think, but adding the vest really adds to those figures. And then here we have our last two figures, man. We have the Scott Hall in the denim. This looks so damn good, man. I think that the dry brush details look good. It looks even better in person, I think. The camera's not really picking up all the details here, but it just adds that sense of realism, man. It's kind of crazy how much better it brings out the figure. And I really would like to add like a deeper five o'clock shadow maybe, but I still like this. This looks hell of a lot better than it did originally you know with the just flat vest so i do like this i think that turned out pretty damn good man so i'm i'm hyped for the scott hall scott hall looks really damn good and then our last figure that we have man is our promo gear logan paul and i might make some changes to this before it's listed but i do think i'm gonna put this up on the whatnot stream here and it's got the the fur jacket just adds to that man and you got the black bandana or the black headband in there with the necklace the necklace sticking out does bother me i'm gonna probably switch that out do something to make make the necklace sit flat but this is a very damn good figure man and the height looks good as well so the scaling's good and everything and i think the fur jacket fits on there well and everything as well i feel like i just said well like 1200 times just in a it's 10 second rate there but nonetheless man logan paul looks good the whole thing looks damn good i like all of our fix-ups here today man it was a great day of surgery very successful day and that's always good to see on the surgery table man we're slowly approaching episode 100 man Cannot wait for that. That's going to be insane. I got to get my thoughts together on that. But we have a lot of shish planned, man. You got Mania Week next week. Lots of collabs and different videos we're going to be doing out there for WrestleMania. You have our big whatnot stream coming up. Which, again, go click the link in the description, man. Go bookmark that next show and get ready for it. You get $10 off your first purchase. $10 credit right there, man, where you can buy something or put it towards something, man. And everything starts at a dollar on those streams, man. So definitely something to look into. But lots of things heating up, man. Lots of things heating up. Up, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what your thoughts are down below, man. I'm getting the hell out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Also, a huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Love those guys so much, man. Always putting up little teasers and different things to them, man. Giving them some exclusive videos on the arena and different things going on over there, man. So if you guys are interested in that, check out the link in the description below. But I'm getting out of the hell out of here. Yeah. 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 But I'm getting the hell out. See you later.